Um, this is part two of the Mexican Revolution. It's going to be real short. Uh, you've done the bulk of the work by now. Uh, there will be two uh, topics in this segment. One will be on the arts of the Mexican Revolution, and the second will be on the role of women or soldaderas, uh, female soldiers in the Mexican Revolution. And there you'll be uh, thinking about the question of gender um, uh, as it relates to revolutionary struggle. So this next part on uh, Mexican art, uh, although a sign is not required for you to gain credit, um, I would encourage you to at least look at the imagery. Um, these are some of the great muralists of really of all time. Um, and they come out of the Mexican revolutionary struggle. Uh, so the 1930s and 1940s was a period of new arts, uh, new uh, ideas around equality, uh, particularly here in the United States and Europe and elsewhere, um, that uh, came in the aftermath of the global depression of 1929, of World War II, the notion of coming together, that uh, the common man, as it would have been referred to, a common person uh, should have an elevated status uh, and should in uh, and of itself be the subject of arts and music and so forth. Um, so that's what kind of moves a lot of the uh, Mexican muralists and their depiction of characters. Uh, Diego Rivera and others, uh, Diego Rivera is the most well-known, uh, depicted a lot of important uh, historical uh, topics uh, in, in Mexican history, uh, very much from a socialist uh, perspective. Um, even the National Palace, however, the walls are uh, full of Diego Rivera murals that uh, you sort of see them as you walk up the stairs onto the second floor. They're dramatic, they're huge, they're stunning. Um, so as you look at some of the artwork, uh, look for some of the themes. You might recall Tierra y Libertad, that's Emiliano Zapata. See if I can get a pointer right there. Where is that little pointer thing? It's somewhere, give me a second, pointer um, right here. This is uh, Zapata. Um, this is Tierra y Libertad, his, the motto. Um, and then just notice who uh, is in the painting. You'll see indigenous people, you'll see uh, industrial workers. These are the people who uh, Rivera is elevating to a more prominence um, in his artwork. Um, this is the famous painter depicted here, Frida Kahlo, who for a while was uh, married to Diego Rivera. You might notice something about this flag here. I'll let you come up with that on your own. Again, just across the uh, social classes and who's being depicted, just be mindful of that, children, women, um, workers, etc. cetera. Um, this is also Diego Rivera, and just look at sort of uh, who, where, where the, you know, who has strength here, and, um, and whose rights are being fought for or trampled upon. Um, this is these are all actually close-ups of larger murals. <clears throat> and then finally, I think this is uh, David Siqueiros, but I am forgetting at the moment. Um, uh, also some very powerful uh, scenes in his uh, in his murals, some intense colors and just the, the eyes and the faces and the determination. Okay, so that is um, the section on Mexican art. And I'm um, once again having some difficulty with advancing the slides. Um, okay, let's think a little bit about uh, women and uh, revolution. So two concepts to think about here. One is the concept of patriarchy, um, the idea that a society, um, power in a society is held by men, both in the workplace, in political leadership, uh, in moral authority, and that is to who says, who, who sort of uh, determines what are the norms and spiritual beliefs and, and proper feelings and attitudes. Um, in sexual negotiations, in uh, in the family, this describes virtually all societies uh, in time, uh, but to varying degrees. Um, so this, of course, was present in Mexico during the revolution. I uh, think also about the more modern concept uh, of feminism, although women have been fighting for their rights for a long time. The word feminism as a social movement is more of a modern concept. Keep those two ideas in mind as you look at some of the images and read the short article. And it is short, it's about the soldaderas, the female participants in the Mexican Revolution. I want you to think about were these women involved in the revolution because they were fighting for 
a national cause to reform their country? Uh, or were they there to uh, support men? Or, or and, were they there uh, to fight for their own rights uh, just by virtue of participating? Were they challenging patriarchy? Were they challenging uh, gender norms or uh, conventional expectations uh, for women? Um, something unusual about the Mexican Revolution is that it was a family affair. Whole families would take the trains or other modes of transportation to the sites of conflict. Uh, women were, uh, you know, certainly involved in domestic ability, caring for children as they, you know, are uh, uh, throughout history, uh, disproportionately the caretakers as they still are in pretty much everywhere in the world. Uh, they were, you know, doing food preparation, so forth. But look closely at these images and see if you notice uh, some other activities uh, and uh, how women were challenging potentially uh, their more conventional roles of where they were located and what they were doing. Um, women with guns, um, in this case, these seem to be more upper class women, um, women uh, at or near the front lines. Um, and also consider uh, the many jobs that women uh, did do, not necessarily um, captured in photographs. They were involved in transporting goods. They were involved in more traditional uh, gendered work, such as cooking meals, setting up camps, um, uh, caring for plants and animals that were part of the diet and, and, um, and uh, you know, put to work. Um, women serve as prostitutes, and as I've mentioned in class, that's uh, almost always a, a job of last resort, not a job of first resort. That is that women engage in, in uh, uh, sex work for um, out of desperation, you know, to be able to care for their families, uh, to earn some income where they were often restricted from doing so. And just by virtue of being there, they were subject to um, assault, sexual assault by opposing armies, uh, by opposing militias. Um, they raided corpses for weapons and supplies. That was risky work. They were battlefield nurses. They smuggled goods from across the U.S. border. So um, that's it for that segment of the video. Um, feel free to email me. Good luck in the work, and I hope to uh, check in with you soon. All right. Take care.